What got me filming all the videos? Hey everyone. I'm slowly getting back into booktube, even though it takes me a while to edit some videos, but I've been more in the mood to film videos. And I saw Lala from Books and Lala do this tag slash challenge called Do I Have That Book? Um, and the original tag slash challenge is from Keeping Tabs. I will link their video down below. I haven't finished any video that anyone has done for this challenge because I didn't want to spoil myself with the questions. But from what I've gathered, what I think this challenge is, there's a bunch of questions on types of books that you're supposed to find on your bookshelf. I think in the original tag they timed it, but I'm not gonna do that. I just wanna go through the questions and see which books I have. That was probably a horrible explanation for this tag slash challenge. I don't know what to call it. Let's just get started. I do know the first question because that's the first one I always saw everyone doing. Number one, do you have a book with deckled edges? I do. They're right behind me the entire series of unfortunate events and I don't know how to show this there. They have deckled edges. Do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Oh come on. Three or more? That's a lot. Oh wait, wait. Haha! -ha! I found one. The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. One, two, three, and I'm gonna count this as a person as well. Four. Number three, do you have a book based on another fictional story? Probably. Oh, yeah, here. Um, which one? Scarlet by Marissa Mayer, which is based on Red Riding Hood. Number four, do you have a book with a title ten letters long? Oh, I'm gonna have to do math for this. Not math, but counting. God damn it. No, god damn it. And they're all nine letters or more. Oh, I found one. Six of Crows by Lee Bordugo. Oh, I'm gonna have books lying around everywhere here after this is done. Do you have a book with the title that starts and ends with the same letter? I hear my neighbor. Okay. I'm pretty sure he heard me. Um, Skylarks by Karen Gregory. Number six, do you have a mass market paperback book? Yes. Um, somewhere. Gone Girl by Jill and Flynn. Number seven, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, Oh, it's gonna be a bitch to get out. The Foxhole Court by Nora Sak Sakovic. I'm pretty sure she has mentioned that this isn't her real name, that she writes under a different name because she doesn't want like family and people she knows to know about this book. If I remember correctly, I hope I'm not wrong about that, but yeah, I think she's keeping her identity like private. Doesn't Cassandra Clare write? Isn't like, isn't, that's not her real name, right? Number eight, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Yes, somewhere up here. When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanja Menon. Two characters in the title. Number nine, do you have a book with two maps in it? I'm pretty sure I do. Aha, Crooked Kingdom has two. One and two. This is fun. I like challenges like this. Number 10, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Um, City of Bones, AKA Shadowhunters, which I think I, I think I finished season one. I don't know if I started season two. I'm not mad about it being canceled. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Number 11, do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else? Oh yeah, celebrity, athlete, politician, TV personality. Um, here, I have this line beside me. Leah Remini, um, she's an actress. She used to be in Scientology. This book is about that. Number 12, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? Hmm. Wait, this one has like a bunch of different things. Is there a clock on it? No. I got stupidly excited because I thought there was one on the Night Circus, but there's not. 
So I'm still searching. Oh, God, I'm so stupid. Timekeeper by Terrison. The huge clock on it. 13, do you have a poetry book? Yes, it is over here. I think this is the first poetry book that I've owned. I haven't read a lot of poetry. I want to. That's why I bought this. Number 14, do you have a book with an award stamp on it? I think so. I think this one. Oh yeah. This one has a bunch on them. They're not actual stickers, but you know, this has won a bunch of awards. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Allier at Signs. Signs? I'm sorry if I butchered that. Oh my god, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> this is like exercise for me. <laughs> Number 15, do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? My initials are NJ, so let me look through the books. No, no, no. I kind of have one, but I don't know if it counts. The only one I could find that kind of has my initials, just the other way around, is Jennifer Niven, who wrote All the Right Places. Um, hers are the other way around, but still the same initials. 16, do you have a book of short stories? Oh, most of them I have as ebooks. Oh, yes. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're like short stories. Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls. A Hundred Tales of Extraordinary Women. 17, do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages? Oh, I don't want to spoil myself. This is dangerous. Oh, my bookshelves are falling apart. This one looks like more than 500 pages. Yep. This one, which one is this? Son of Neptune has 511 pages. Does that count? No, I'm, I'm gonna be annoyed by this myself. I need to find one that fits. Which one is this? Blood of Olympus. I have to be careful because I haven't read this one, but let's cover that up. This has exactly 500 pages, so I found something. Number 18, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? I have plenty. To All the Boys I've Loved Before, watch it on Netflix. It's amazing, it's wonderful, it's beautiful. I'm tripping over all the books that are covering my floor right now. Number 19, do you have a graphic novel? think so. Sweet Tooth by Jeff Lemire. And lastly, number two. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? Wait, it said two or more, right? So it can be two. Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I still haven't read the last one, Obsidio. I still need to get that. So that was the do I have that book challenge. This was a lot of fun. I love challenges like this. I'm not excited to put my bookshelf back together. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye!